Grids can be a very important part of any design project and in this masterclass we're going to learn about grids, how to use them, how to work efficiently and fast with them and I'm also going to share with you some of the resources which really help me work efficiently with grids and that will definitely help your workflow. Even if you're an experienced seasoned designer, you're definitely going to learn a lot in this masterclass. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, before I show you how to use grids in softwares like Figma, Sketch and Adobe XD, I want to start with a small premise regarding working with grids on a project. Now, I'm referring to projects which are web-based, so if you're building a website, a web app, an iOS or Android app, but this can be the same also if you're working on graphic design and print design projects. And the very first principle that I want you to learn is to talk with the developers or the printer if it's a graphic design project because um, chances are that uh, they might have some personal preferences and uh, discussing the grid system that you're going to use and especially how it will work uh, in a responsive environment so how the grid system is going to translate in tablet and mobile um, this can be a very very important conversation to have uh, and, it, and it can be a brief conversation it doesn't need to be uh, a one hour meeting about it necessarily so um, I, I always encourage uh, uh, my students to actually talk with the developers before and ask them the, um, the question about what uh, your intentions are when using grids. So one thing that I would do before starting uh, a project with uh, a new developer that I've been working with for um, a short amount of time or, or for the first time actually it's, um, I would uh, maybe send them a file which is, uh, uh, has the grids uh, which I'm looking forward to use uh, and uh, I would like to have the green light from him uh, if that's uh, a grid system which uh, it's um, something which he's comfortable working with or if he has some suggestions for the project because Chances are, especially if you're working on uh, on a project which uh, is already established. So let's say that, for example, you're working on a website, and uh, the website uh, already has uh, uh, 15 pages that were pre-built by another designer. Chances are, you want to adapt and uh, create a grid system or use uh, the exact same grid systems, ideally from that designer. So uh, basically you're maintaining a consistency with the grid system. And uh, this is very important because uh, the developers, uh, the front-end development uh, will basically establish some, some general uh, CSS and HTML guidelines uh, which are strictly in the web pages. So this is definitely something which uh, can be really useful. Now, again, guys, just about asking a few questions before you start a project and just have the green light from the developer. And uh, this can be something which is uh, really fast, but can uh, really save uh, a lot of time uh, along the line. So that's, that's that when it comes to the very first part. And uh, when it comes to the second tip, uh, which uh, I can give you is to consider using a strong and responsive grid system. Now, my best suggestion is uh, if you're not familiar with grid systems, um, but you're looking to primarily work uh, on uh, web-based projects, is to have a look at uh, Get Bootstrap. Now, Get Bootstrap uh, is uh, essentially one of, um, has, has established some of the um, the grid systems and, and the layout uh, methodologies for uh, for some web projects and it's really it's really useful to have a look uh, at the website and although you don't have to go into the details of coding I'm definitely not not telling you to, to go into the to, into the coding aspect uh, I want you to have a look at the grids uh, part uh, of uh, bootstrap uh, because uh, you're going to learn uh, a lot about uh, what uh, um, the methodologies and uh, the concepts of breakpoints uh, work uh, for from the development point of view so 
For example, in uh, Get Bootstrap at the moment, uh, we have these uh, different breakpoints. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can have a look. And um, essentially, we have uh, things like uh, the extra large, which is more than uh, 1000 um, or actually more than 1200 pixels or, or equal. And uh, then we have uh, another large breakpoint. And essentially, the way it works is that when you transfer, when you go from one of these breakpoints to the other, so let's say that, for example, you're working with a very large monitor and then uh, the uh, design is displayed on just a large monitor, um, that changes the layout and uh, consequently the, the grid system which is uh, being used. And uh, these are concepts which uh, you, you can learn about uh, on uh, getbootstrap.com, but uh, this is definitely a website which uh, I would encourage you to look at. And uh, I personally, for, for web-based project, I use uh, Bootstrap Grids uh, quite quite a bit uh, when it comes to actually um, just uh, um, use, use them as a reference. So yeah, that's definitely something which I recommend you to look into. Now let's uh, jump and uh, I'm going to give you a live demo of uh, how to do grid systems, uh, how to create them inside of Figma and also inside of uh, Adobe XD and uh, Sketch. Now, inside of Figma, it's uh, pretty easy. So you simply select a frame. So essentially when you select a frame, you can go under layout grid and uh, you can click on plus. And uh, as you can see, a grid has been created. Now, if we click on this icon over here, we can change the size of the grid system. Just going to use the arrow keys plus the shift in order to make incremental um, improvements. And uh, yeah, you can you can literally play around with uh, you know things like the color, and uh, you can make the uh, the grids in different color. You can also change the opacity. So usually when I'm working with grid systems, I like to keep the opacity to a minimum so that it doesn't interfere too much with uh, my designs. And um, usually uh, I would select the columns layout when I'm working on a web uh, project or even an iOS project, uh, simply because I want to focus more on uh, the actual um, on the actual columns rather than uh, the um, than the height between one element and the other. This can be useful, but for the most part, uh, I would suggest you to work with uh, with the columns when it comes to uh, to the layout because uh, it's uh, it's more efficient in my opinion and uh, it covers uh, ninety nine percent of uh, the possible issues which uh, you might have. Now, it's usually um, good to, to have a look at the, um, at the grid systems in uh, um, side by side. So if I'm working on a web-based project, I'm going to have perhaps the desktop version right here, then the smaller uh, version, which might be um, maybe a, a MacBook size or a tablet uh, right on, just on the right. And uh, I'm going to keep uh, the mobile as well. So establishing the grid systems before even you start a project uh, is going to enable you to have uh, a look uh, at the entire overview in uh, a more efficient way. And um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, in, uh, in Figma it's pretty straightforward. Another really cool thing uh, that you can do is uh, you can uh, click over here and uh, on the plus uh, you can create a new style so basically this can be um, a style which uh, you can apply easily to another frame so for example if i duplicate this and i just delete the current grid and i use uh, this, uh, um, this layout over here i can select default and it's going to copy it automatically so this is very handy and uh, can, can be really good to also to create and establish that uh, design system. Now in Adobe XD, it's uh, very, very similar. So I, as you can see here um, on this screenshot, you can see that once you select the artboard, so exactly like, like in Figma, 
can simply go on the on the right column, select grid, uh, and over here you can select the layout. Um, you can change the the color um, over here, very similar to, to what you you do in Figma. You can change the number of columns, and uh, also the gutter width uh, and uh, the column width. Now these are all very visual. Um, settings so uh, as you tweak them you're going to see it uh, updated live just uh, just like in Figma. Now in Sketch uh, it's a, a two steps process but um, it's uh, just about doing two clicks uh, so very easy. Um, you simply have to because uh, grids are not shown by default uh, in Sketch uh, you have to go at the very top uh, view and then select canvas and then select show grid and uh, by doing that uh, you're going to be able to see the grid and uh, in order to modify the grid settings uh, it's very easy just select the view again go on canvas again but this time you're going to select the grid settings so it's just this option right here so very easy very straightforward and then again you can simply modify these uh, these options and uh, you're going to be able to see the, uh, the preview live so this is it essentially um one resource which uh, i really recommend you to check out uh, is also the bootstrap for grids uh, by thomas pageot um i'm going to um i'm going to to send uh, of, over the the link uh, i think i'm i'm going to leave it in the description or in the comments and uh, as you can see this is a grid system which has built for sketch but uh, you can um, you can download it and uh, import it in Figma because in Figma uh, you can open sketch files easily and that's uh, exactly what what I did over here and essentially if you have a look at it uh, it's uh, a pre-built uh, grid uh, using bootstrap for um, settings so this is very useful because uh, it allows you to not having to to build the grid uh, manually each and every time you want to start uh, a new project so for example um, here we have uh, the grids already pre-built uh, um, and um, as you can see Figma is it's also importing the layout grids directly so you, 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 it's it's ready to go essentially so very very useful and um, you can simply copy and paste this uh, and uh, start working on uh, your project so very cool um, research which uh, he shared with us and um, one last thing that I want to leave you guys is uh, if you want to bring uh, your um, knowledge about uh, grid systems and layouts to the next level and uh, really go in, in depth uh, about it these are two uh, of the books which uh, um, I read and I studied at, at university um, so some of you might know but some of you uh, might not know that uh, I went to Ravensbourne uh, University in London to study graphic design for three years and uh, I successfully graduated. And um, I, I really enjoyed uh, these two books when it comes to uh, grids and layouts because uh, they really taught me a lot. Uh, and uh, although I think you can, you can uh, find the, um, the PDF version, you can buy the PDF version online, I would highly suggest you to buy the hard copies of, uh, of these books uh, simply because uh, when working um, and studying grids uh, I feel that having the physical book uh, is actually uh, better for, for really understanding the, the concept but that's just my personal preference I mean you can, you can definitely learn a lot just with uh, the PDF it's, but you know it's just a personal preference to to actually have the hard copy when it comes to these these visual books um but again guys it's a uh, grid systems by joseph Mueller brockman and uh, layout essentials by beth uh, tondro so i really hope this uh, uh master class about uh, grids uh, help you out uh, i'm curious to hear your thoughts uh, and uh, if you have any question regarding grids uh, and layouts uh, feel free to leave a comment below i'm always happy to help uh, and uh, if you have some uh, resources which uh, you really enjoyed and that uh, really help you to build out uh, successful projects uh, and especially learn more about grids uh, and layouts feel free to leave them uh, in the comment as well 
and um, in uh, my YouTube channel I have over 200 videos about software tutorials, uh, design, uh, design tutorials and um, also the freelance design business aspect. So if you're interested in uh, these topics, uh, feel free to subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't already and turn that bell notification on. So this is it for this video. Hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.